Welcome back to Game Days. Oh. Frankly, she can't get enough of this game. Yep, and after a little bit of research, it has been discovered that we're actually really close to finishing. Look at that. Turtle. Zero. 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 Turtle. Tree. Solid state. See, two of them are really close. There's one has like white around towards its rump. No, well, this one's stripes. The one with the white around the rump is uh. I don't think we named that one. Nonsense. We've named them all. Yeah, those two are very similar. Oh, this is butterflies. Stripes. And I call that one wings. Wings? Alright. There's a turn up towards your right. You wanna feed them. I want what? It looks like I need to feed wings. Come here, your wings. Get out of my way, tree. Dance, dance. Which one looks cutest? Was that an apple tree you were under over there? Yeah. Hold on, I got eaten fast. Hey, wings. You just ate something. This seems to be a very peaceful, beautiful little area. Yeah, you know they're gonna run at that. Yeah, probably hunters. Or giant predators of some sort. The truth. Ain't it the truth? Oh, I saw it. You always look like you're starving. It's just the color of your fur. Left or right? Oh, there's so many choices. Ooh. We, we saw a trailer for a movie the other day. Yeah, what was that? Something about a zombie beavers. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, I, I didn't know how... And it, this is not a sci-fi channel movie. This is a actual movie, apparently. Yep, it's a B-horror movie. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I mean... Fine. Judging by the commercials, the beavers look like you find them at a creepy pawn shop and they're stuffed and mounted on something. Yeah, they're a little pet cemetery-ish. I mean, they're not really... They don't look alive and they don't even look like zombies. They just... Yeah, it was weird. It just looked like another director's excuse to see girls take their clothes off. Hmm. But hey... If that's what the people want, then I won't support them. There's a spot over there, too, I think I came from here. Mm, you came from over there. You didn't come from here. No, you're right. There's mice somewhere around here. Bulls. You know, I haven't fed you yet, turtle. You gonna eat it? I think, I think the uh, animation got stuck. There we go. I mean, they, they had to go through, you know, four of the rings of hell to get here, but it was a nice little area. I know. You know, recently I watched Watership Down, um, mm. and this game kind of reminds me of Watership Down. Yeah. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's a movie about rabbits trying to find, like, a peaceful meadow, and, like, them trying to survive death along the way. 
I was actually really disappointed they did not go back to try to rescue the farm rabbits. Like yeah. they just they they tried to get them once and that was it. Like they Well, you know, it's an allegory for uh uh religion. Really? Yeah, everything's an allegory for religion. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Who mute? <laughs> the hungry one. Pull, pull out your own turnips, you silly little creatures. Let's see, I fed sauce, I fed turtle. Zero, I haven't fed you yet. Let's see. I feel like there's one more. And you know, uh, I have to fed stripes. Well, the stripes kind of feeds himself. You saw the carrot. Oh. Yeah. Well, there's a reason why I saw the carrot. I guess stripes is the only one that I haven't actually fed. I like how they're all starting to rush the food. Yeah. Well, they recognize it now, you know? Mm. I've raised them well. Yes. And as the documentary on sea otters we watched will tell us, animals usually do the best at raising their own young. What are you trying to say? You trying to say I'm a badger? Well, you're, you're playing a badger. Yeah. I guess that's true. I wonder where this is leading. I don't know, but it's really... Kind of odd that it's so peaceful. It's like the beginning of the game. Except it's pink, and there's a lot more food. A lot. Of food. We're all getting fattened up, so Keep cozy for winter. Oh, maybe. But it, there's flowers. So it's kind of springish. That's what. It's... That's true. So when this level first showed up, I thought it was snow falling. There's so many choices. Like, I don't even care right now. They're all getting so much food right Oh, wow, he's big. They're, yeah, they are getting bigger. They start out pretty small. Yeah. Alright. Uh. Get into the cave. How many are there? One. Two, three, four, five. Woo! Come on, little fet. Wait a second. This looks just like the den from the beginning of the game. Have they gone back home? All that adventure has drugged them back to the same home they left? But they've grown. They're not the same beavers that they once were. They're not beavers, they're badgers. Badgers. That's what I meant. There, there was food that other direction. There was? Yeah. No. Oh, right. I thought there's epic music, but they're in a tunnel. I think I ran through that last part really quickly. Yeah, I don't think you waited around to see if the hawk was coming or not. Done like a true badger. I keep feeling like there should be some kind of danger in here. Nope, the danger's right here. No, it's not the original cave. There it is. Where is he? I'm seeing the shadow. There's the shadow. Uh, this is like the final boss. Mm -hmm. Alright. Apple tree there. Don't you dare start going after the apples. Now's not the time for apples. Let's see. Try to see I think I gotta make it across, just straight across. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see which edges are the best. I think. 
Here to there is my best bet. Okay. I wonder if you crawl across the open area if it counts as being seen. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it does. Okay, this one Stop being mewing! You can't be hungry already! This might be too much. Come on, babies. Woo! Did it. Do that part. There might be hopes of wrapping around this rock formation, or we can cut through the middle. Yeah, I'm thinking cutting through the middle will be best. Alright. He's, the hog has changed his circular pattern. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they, they mean for you to go around the rock formation. What is going on with that little... I don't know. There's so many choices, I don't know where you're supposed to go. I think it's the point. I think this is like the final boss. Mm. Alright, there's a little cropping right there. There's a log there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess I was supposed to use a log to get to this point. Well, not necessarily. I mean, this is... pretty open. They're a lot closer to me now. Oh, there's a hole. Mm, but that might be just be a hole. It looks like it's just a hole through that rock. I think what I can get right now because I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Oh. Scooch back. Scooch back! Hmm. This, uh, this viewpoint gives us a unique angle. We can see how the... Oh, shadows are moving. Oddly. I have a slight glitch. Yeah, it was... Did he go away? No. Nope. You, just, you have to cross an invisible line to reset it. Nothing else, it should pop you out on the other side close to that grass patch. It kind of feels like you're going in circles. That's a little bit. One of them's new. I know. Get in here. Look back at that rock. <laughs> it's like an animal. A little bit. A little ram or something. You can either go for that. Right, circling, circling, circling. So that's the log you were original you were also thinking about going to. Is it? Yeah. Oh, fully. No, it's okay. Thank you. 
We'll do the survivor man method. You go left around one tree, you go right around the next. Grass is deep enough. And it goes away again. Wait, did I do it? I don't see the shadow. Make a run for it. Yeah, that grass isn't very deep. Oh my god, I think I saved them. Got like baby apple tree or something over here. Oh! <gasps> oh! Run! You're injured. Oh! Where do I hide? I don't think you do. I think this is where you die. Can't be. Is that the end of the game? Does I die? That's the end of the game! That is a horrible ending! It's okay. I brought them all to safety. They're still kneeling for you! I taught them all they needed to learn. They're mewing for you! But they will grow up and have their own little badgers. That's so sad! I like this game. A lot of people complain that it was kind of short, but I feel like it was kind of the right length. For what I had to offer. Yeah, I mean, I could see having like some more challenging levels, or some more of a combination. I wonder if there's a way if you can run across that area fast enough to do it. I don't know. Oh, uh, maybe I'll watch somebody else's uh, videos to see if, uh, what happens in their end of the game. Yeah. Wow. Let us know what you uh, thought about this game in the comments. Um, I think this is the first time I've ever beaten the game on game days. To I completion. Think, yeah, I think so. I think there's only been one other game finished on game days. Yeah, uh, Andrew did uh, The Binding of Isaac. He got through the first ending. And there's like, you know, like six yeah, or there, eight there, endings. Yeah, there's multiple endings. We got to at least one of them. He got to, yeah, he got to one of them. And, um, well, I just got to the ending of this game, it looks like. Um, it looks like you're pretty close to the ending of Gone Home. Mm. Mm hmm We'll have to see if it's all hype or if there actually is paranormal stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I expect this, that we'll finish that game sometime pretty soon. Probably mm -hmm. in the next week or two, I think. Okay. Yeah. We're getting a uh, nice color palette here of all the different skins. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, man, that game touched me now. emotionally. You know? Like, I kind of went into this game thinking it was a survival thing. It's going to be funny and kind of goofy. With the art style and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, badger style of don't starve. Yeah, kind of a little bit. Yeah, the, the, the ads kind of make it seem like that, though. Yeah, that's true. But uh, it ended up being something so much more touching. Yeah. More, you know. The next baby animal I see is getting held. Yeah, you were really scared. Wow, um... I, I really want to know, can you get the mom out of there without dying? I don't know. I mean, like I said, we could just figure that out. Yeah. Um, because I think to be able to do that scene again, we'd have to 
do the whole level again. Yeah. Um, but I think that's why it's so open and barren at the end there, though, so that yeah. you can get picked off. Yeah. Because you were technically hiding in grass. Oh, it's dedicated to all mothers. Makes sense. Yeah. See, they're showing snowflakes, but there was no snow in there. Mm, maybe it was the fire level. <laughs> nah, maybe maybe snow they're going to add levels as we get, like, uh -huh. later. Looks like the last big section. Uh-oh. Here comes the bird. It's feeding its Oh, out. really? Yeah. It's just a cycle of life, I guess. I mean... Yeah, that's a... I wonder if they're planning to make a sequel to this game, but... With the bird? I like how this game pauses itself. Like, whenever it's going to the menu, it'll pause, and... Because it's recording now. Yeah, uh, so it looks like it cut out a little bit, um, but I was saying I wonder if the sequel of the game is where you're playing as the birds, if they ever decide to make a sequel to the game. That'd be pretty funny. It'd be a different, a completely different style of gameplay. Yeah. Uh, if anybody was wondering what nurture mode was, um, I did look that up. It's kind of like, like a Tamagotchi. You just kind of go in like once a day, feed your badgers. Eventually they grow up big and go off on their own. It's, from what I understand, there's no enemies or anything like that. It's just foraging it's, it's for food. It's a zen garden kind of yeah, badger survival. Tamagotchi style type of thing. That's probably how I'm going to play. <laughs> wow. It's been a while since I've beaten the game on something that wasn't my PlayStation Vita. Mm. Yeah, you're trying to get through those games. Hey, there's one more game off that list. Yeah. Five thousand more to go. <laughs> well, uh, join us next week, and uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or join us this week, since this is a bonus, bonus video. Yeah, I don't know when this is coming out, but Saturday. It'll, it'll be out the next Rogue Legacy. Oh wow! You yeah. get two videos in one day. Spoiled audience. Two good long videos in one day. <laughs> well then. I'm gonna go, uh, just soak it all in. I hope you all had a wonderful experience with Shelter. This is Daniel from Game Days, signing out. Bye! Uh, so short edit. But I, uh, want to let you guys know when I watch some uh, YouTube videos of other people playing the game and see what their endings were like. Uh, it seems that the... Your death scene at the end is scripted in the game, and you can't avoid it. Um, but I just wanted to comment, and I was shocked at how how many of the videos I saw. I saw a couple of them, like three to five of them, and how many people like I didn't see anybody that had a full set of cubs at the end. Um, the most I saw at the end of the videos, or at the end of their games, was two cubs. Um, so, unbeknownst to myself, I actually apparently had a really lucky run. I was able to get through the game relatively unscathed. Um, but I mean, it was it was harrowing, and it was it was quite the experience. Um, but I think you know. You take, you take those YouTube videos where they got like one or two cubs out alive. And you know, the majority of them that I saw were like that. And in mine, mine I got five cubs out. And it's kind of, you know, it's kind of just really helps emphasize the, the sense of nature this game has. Where, you know, some some badger families, you know, they might come out alright. and But most of them are going to su suffer casualties uh, one way or another. And, it, you know, it's, I think it just really helps ex exemplify how how well this game was made. That, um, everybody can have their own experiences, but it seems that getting five cubs out, you know, having, having the so-called perfect run is, uh, you know, not that common. And just like in, just like in life. 
for these animals. It's just not that common. It's a great game. I don't know. It's short, but uh, you know, it was like I got it on sale, but I didn't get it for like ten bucks. It's not that bad and for the experiences it instills in you. It's good. I liked it. Again, thanks for joining us. See you next time on Game Days.